Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to uh, run a quick analysis uh, to figure out how much of a home uh, can we afford. And so we're going to look at a couple different uh, concepts and, and metrics here to, to figure that out. So let's get straight to it. Uh, so, the, so just to start this video off, the general rule of thumb is that we want our mortgage payment and our property expenses to be no more than 28% of our monthly gross income. So for the purpose, purposes of this example, uh, I have a household income here, uh, whether you're single or married or, or a couple, um, I have a household income of $80,000. So my monthly gross income is about $6,666. Okay, so let's say we're looking to buy a home and we find a home that's caught, that costs uh, $300,000. Uh, the next thing we want to figure out is how much money will we have to pay for closing costs and closing costs basically what closing costs are for is there is a title and escrow company that steps in and basically is in charge of gathering all the the reports and documents and, and make sure that the transaction is successful and so typically uh you can expect to pay anywhere between two percent to six percent of the purchase price and closing costs so if Depending on whether you want to be more conservative, uh, you can sort of joggle with, with, with the closing cost assumption and say, okay, I want to be more conservative and say, I'm going to expect to pay 6% in closing costs. Uh, so you can do that too. So let's just say closing costs will be 2% of our purchase price, and that'll be $6,000. So the total cost of, of buying this home is going to be $306,000. Now, the next thing I want to figure out is how much down payment do I want to uh, put towards the house? And I'm going to say I'm putting down 20% of the purchase price. So my total down payment is $60,000. And you can calculate that by multiplying the down payment percentage uh, by the home purchase price. And that's going to be $60,000. Uh, but because I'm also paying for these uh, closing costs, and the reason is because the, the, the loan does not cover closing costs, uh, basically, my total out-of-pocket expenses is going to be $66,000. And that basically covers my down payment of $60,000 and my closing cost of $6,000. So my total out-of-pocket expenses will be $66,000. So now the difference is the amount that I'm going to go to the bank for and, and ask for a loan, which is going to be uh, $240,000. Okay, so now let's say that the current interest rates uh, in California... Uh, is 3.8% interest rate. Uh, so I get a loan for 30 years at 3.8% interest rate and the total loan amount I'm asking for is $240. Uh, so if I run this quick analysis uh, of what my monthly uh, loan payment will be, my monthly mortgage payment down here uh, will be $1,118.30. So that's going to be my monthly mortgage payment. Now, that's not the only expense that I will have uh, for buying this property. Uh, the other expenses that we will have, uh, we, we will have to pay uh, property tax. And so I basically want to budget in uh, a monthly property tax amount that, that I'm going to have to pay. And typically property taxes can be, uh, you know, one to 2% of the, of the purchase price uh, on an annual basis. And so if you just divide that by 12, uh, you can get your monthly property tax bills. Uh, the second thing you'll have to pay for is homeowners insurance. And this is basically like property insurance, you know, fire hazard insurance. Uh, and, and you can get a, a, a quote, you know, just by searching, you know, what, what the current homeowners insurance and, and you can expect to pay somewhere around 64, maybe a little higher. Um, and that's going to be for homeowners insurance. Now, let's say if you if you uh, if your down payment was less than 20 percent of the property value, uh, you would also have to pay what's called a, a property mortgage insurance uh, to the lender. Uh, and basically, this is an insurance policy that covers the lender in case you're not able to make the payments. Um, um, it's an insurance policy. Uh, but because we're putting 20% down, we don't have any property mortgage insurance. Uh, now, for property management uh, for property management expenses, if you know if you're going to be a landlord and you're going to rent out your, your home to tenants, uh, you can hire a property management company to basically manage the assets or the property 
and and basically you you will be required to or, or expect to pay the property management company a certain percentage of the the total rent uh, of the property from the tenants. Uh, so let's just say for this example, we're not going to hire a property management company. This is a house for us to live in. Uh, the, the next thing we're going to have to pay for is utilities. Uh, this includes electrical bills, water bills, gas, uh, all the utility bills. And so our monthly um, our monthly assumption here is that we're going to pay for $271 per month. And then lastly, uh, we want to budget in uh, repair and maintenance. So, so basically, uh, repair and maintenance is going to go towards any reparations that you need to make uh, towards the house. Uh, let's say if you know you need to change the roof, or maybe you need to apply some new paint, or or, or fix any anything that goes wrong in the house. Uh, you want to set aside some month some money on a monthly basis to make sure you have enough money to cover those costs when when they uh, appear. And so, if I add these up, my total. Uh, mortgage budget here is $1,808.71. So according to my, my, my annual salary uh, or income of $80,000, uh, this equals 27% of my monthly gross income. So uh, this house is affordable. This house is affordable. So now let's say if the home price was uh, $400,000, then that would exceed my monthly gross income, and you know, I raise the risk of, of uh, causing some financial stress if I'm not able to keep up with the payments. And as you see, my total monthly budget, monthly mortgage budget, uh, goes up to two thousand bucks, and it increases to thirty three percent of my monthly gross income. So uh, right then and there, I know that a house that costs four hundred thousand uh, dollars, I'm not able to afford. So, so three hundred thousand dollars seems to be the the sweet spot. It's 27% of my monthly gross income, and, and there you have it. Um, so that's how you calculate your mortgage payment. Uh, these are some of the expenses you want to look at, and these are some of the assumptions that you have to think about uh, be, before you, you buy a home. You want to make sure that it's within no more than 28% of your monthly gross income. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on real estate uh, investing or real estate purchases and, and information. Uh, so, so thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.